any particular order. Um, but anyways, for number four, I had there is a general lack of knowledge of source materials. I think this has been a, uh, you know, and it's odd because like we have so much available to us now, especially in this day and age uh, for newer folks coming into heathenry. Um, there is everything is so accessible when it comes to sources, knowledge, uh, you know, the sagas, the, 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 the Eddas, um, folklore, even, um, there's so much available and accessible to us that for folks that are, you know, 20, 30 years plus, you know, ago getting into heathenry, it was much harder. They didn't, you know, the internet wasn't as, as, a, as, as, as accessible or available and, you know, you, you basically had to go to a library or you had to know somebody with a, with a library or a collection of books and stuff that you, ha that you could borrow and learn from. And, you know, there was a lot more uh, old school type approaches to it. So nowadays for people to have a lack of knowledge of just your heathen sources, you know, how many folks don't know what's in the Eddas? how many people don't know about how many sagas how many have or even have read anything from the eddas or the sagas you know it goes back to kind of you know lack of uh interest or or just failing to put in the work like if you're going to be a heathen kindred a heathen group know what it is about heathenry know your sources know things about this this folk way this this faith way this this religion uh, this belief, know things about it to to to, to work off of. Um, otherwise, you're just going to run into this kind of a, a, a rampant issue where uh, individual thoughts and ideas and 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 experiences get um, get brought into the mix as a like it's it's canon you know or it's dogma you know like this is the way it's always been and well okay but where from what from what source are you getting it from uh, i'm talking like you know upg stuff unverified personal gnosis uh that's been a a, a sort of long going or long running and and perhaps even maybe rising issue where you know people aren't dedicating enough time and and focus and attention into source materials to learn about where this belief comes from and where these ideas and these worldviews are established from. And they're just coming up with things themselves and trying to pass them off as, as long established traditions or facts. I'm not saying to completely abandon your UPG, you know, um, there is, in my opinion, a very important place in, for that within heathenry. Um, because again, your experiences are your own. And there's nobody that can discredit or uh, um, invalidate your experiences when you have them. Um, and I also maintain that when it comes to UPG, you know, many many of the traditions that are have been long established were once upon a time the UPG of a culture of a of a of a person or, or of people um, from again. They didn't have a source that they could go by before the Eddas were written, before the sagas, before all of these things were ever established. Um, these things that are tradition now uh, started off as UPG. Um, you know, the thing of it is, 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 is heathenry by and large is, an, is a reconstruction or reconstructed religion. There, there's not a lot in source materials that... Um, give a lot of very specific information about a lot but there is enough specific information about you know when we're when were bloats done um who were they done for uh some of the mechanics of a bloat would might you know there, there, there's things found in some of the sagas and, and stuff about what was done what was present items proceedings um different laws like you know th again there's so much when it comes to knowledge in the source material that if one were to just take the time and learn and study you're not going to pick it up all up overnight you're not going to pick it up heck with even in the first few years it's a lot of work to get that information uh to absorb it 
is easily accessible as it is. It still takes time to to get through it all. Um, and I'm definitely not saying that one should you know be so uh, you know that you have your nose so buried deep in the books that you're tripping over your own feet because you're not looking at what's in front of you. Um, so there's a balance there. I feel that needs to to take place. But it is something that I feel like if you're just going into heathenry without any knowledge or with a very minimal knowledge of your source materials, uh, you're, you're really not setting yourself up well for the long term because you're going to be kind of swayed by every wind of doctrine or every wind of a person's opinion or every thought or idea or experience that is had. Not even of your own, but of somebody else's. And you're going to have this again, especially is true for newer uh, newbies, uh, newbie heathens, baby heathens, you know, coming into this. Um, it, it, it's easy for them to, again, just be kind of carried about with that. Uh, another person's ideas or, or, or opinions or experiences. So if you don't have that basic knowledge, if you're not absorbing that material, that, that the, the, those source materials, you're not letting you're not laying a foundation down for where to build off from so there's nothing for it to be established on and it's going to crumble it's not going to last it's going to be really rocky so i think that's another important aspect of um you know having a a, a good strong established tribe or kindred uh, for it to be successful is you know the members need to know their lore uh their their, their sources and have the people in positions within that group that are uh, knowledgeable with that sort of thing. Um, that are sort of keepers of the lore, keepers of the knowledge that can teach and, and, and help others learn um, in the way that best suits them. Because not everybody is academically driven to go sit and read, you know, 15 blogs a day or buy, you know, seven books from Amazon and read them in two months. You know, a lot of people don't absorb information that well in that way. A lot of other, uh, a lot of people are better taught through um, with people involved, right? Um, you can, you know, like book clubs or, or whatever, where, you know, you get together and, and there's a group reading or a group gleaning from this, this particular source. So that's another, you know, way for groups and people to, to grow together is understand what the needs are of the individuals in the community or in the tribe or the, the kindred that is that is working together and uh, work together in that in that way not just be like all right everybody you know buy a copy of the poetic edda and have it read and completed by you know two months from now or a month from now or whatever where some people could sit down look at a, pages of a book and go uh and not absorb anything. I know several people like that, where you know you give them something to read, and it's if they, they don't absorb it that way, it's better if it's orally explained to them or given to them in, in pieces. So, but the fact of it is, is that the lore, the knowledge should be there. You know, you should have that working knowledge. Um, and when it comes to lore too, I I want to make mention of the fact um, that I think that. You know, every individual group, every separate tribe, kindred, whatever, they're going to have their own lore that, that, that comes about that, that is established. So their traditions are going to be slightly different than the next tribes. And that's, you know, one of the things I've talked also about in, in other episodes or with other people is, you know, there's the, the sovereignty of tribe. You know, not every heathen tribe just because they're heathen is going to be doing exactly the same thing in exactly the same way each tribe needs to have their own traditions their own kind of lore uh, that is kept and maintained and, and, and practiced their own uh, what we say in, in heathen is through or customs you know those those things kind of being the law of that tribe um, but to have the, the the basis of them established in valid sources um, is important 